there, closer. It's about that new Ralphie kid next door. I don't want him to hear me. What it is, he takes things that don't belong to him. And when he gets caught, he looks you right in the eye, since he is only borrowing it, or keeping it for you, it's going to give back. You know what I mean? Like yesterday when we were playing over at his house. Ralphie, come here, young man. Mr. Hunt just telephoned from school. Again? What'd I do this time? Mr. Hunt says that one of the boys in your class claims you took his calculator. I didn't take his dumb calculator. They found it in your desk, Ralph. My desk? Oh! Oh, that calculator. Now I remember. Tom loaned it to me to do this problem, see? And I guess when the bell rang, I put it in my desk without thinking. Oh, in other words, you borrowed it, right? That's right, Mom. I was going to give it back. Honest. I knew it had to be something like that. I told Mr. Hunt my Ralphie wouldn't steal anything. Well, do I have to go see the principal? Oh, don't worry, dear. I'll call Mr. Hunt. It's no matter, it was just a misunderstanding. Boy, that Ralph sure had a lot of misunderstandings. Like when they found Harry's yo-yo in Ralph's lunchbox. And the time they found my first basement mitt in his garage. Hey, Tony, are you listening to me? What's that supposed to mean? I bet you haven't heard a word I said. Boy, talking to you is like talking to a dumb old meal. Who's a dumb old mule? Don't you know a purebred person who's a mean old when you see one? Well, why didn't you answer me when I was talking to you? I did. I kept going like this and doing that. All over the place. Yeah, where you're this and you're that look both the same. This is yes. That's no. And this doesn't mean a thing. Well, what do you expect from a dumb animal? Scintillating repartee? I ain't no Howard Cosell, you know. How you been, Tony? Oh, can't complain. Eating good, sleeping good. I could use a new pair of shoes, though. Maybe something in a crepe sole. Tony, did I ever tell you you're a pretty weird pony? No, and I hope you never do. Now, about this kid, Raffles. Rao, not Raffles. Whatever, the kid with the sticky fingers problem. You're right. He needs help, and fast. Is there anything we can do for him? Sure, I got it all worked out, Johnny. But first, you gotta let me out of this playpen. Okay, and then I could ride you up to the house. Wait, I got a better idea. <laughs> I don't get it, Tony. Why do you want Ralph to steal you? How else can we catch him red-handed? I'm going to be the first thing he ever stole that can squeal on him. Shh, here he comes. Hi, Ralph. Hey, where'd you get the funny-looking pony? Shh, quiet, boy. You pretend he can talk? I don't need to pretend. He really can talk. Where's the string? What string? The string you pulled to make him talk. He had a new string. This is Tony, the magic pony. Not just some toy, Ralph. Huh. <laughs> You're kidding. Let me hear him say something. I can't. Tony only talks to the guy who owns him. Me. You expect me to believe that? I don't care what you believe. I'm telling you, Tony's a magic pony. Well, see you later. I gotta go do my homework. Jonathan's kidding me. You don't look magic to me. It's okay. I'm your new owner, Tony. You can talk to me. Behind you, Ralph. You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. 
Where do you think you're going with my pony? Nowhere. I was only... You are still my magic pony. I was not. I was only playing with him. Give him back, Ralph. It wasn't stealing. Well, give him back. I, I was only borrowing him. Like you borrowed my first baseman mitt. Oh, take your... Okay, what do we do now? Well? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I got it. Make a fist. What do you want me to do, slug him? You know better than that. Hold your hand still. <laughs> That's a neat trick, Tony. But what are we going to do with it? I'll show you. Watch this. <laughs> From the way he hung on to me, he ain't gonna let go. But he's gone, Tony. We'll never see him again. Now simmer down, Jonathan. What goes up comes down. This is no time for riddles, Tony. What are you talking about? I know where he'll come down. You do? You're forgetting this whole thing was my idea. Climb on, I'll take you there. Oh, forget it. Grab onto my tail and I'll give you a toe. Hey, I just thought of something funny, Tony. Ralphie thought he was stealing the balloons, only they stole him. Jonathan, boy, am I glad to see you. Well, young man, maybe now you've learned your lesson. Taking those balloons could have got you killed. Yeah, that was dumb, Ralphie. You really can talk. Yep. Now, if only you knew how to listen. The reason you went on that balloon trip was to show you that you can't go through life taking things that don't belong to you. I'm sorry if it scared you, Ralphie. Are you kidding? That was fantastic. He liked it. I'm supposed to be the stuffed animal, but he's got more cotton between the ears than I got in my whole body. Hey, where are we anyway? What's that over there? As you can see by the signs, we're right between Outer Tyrania and Inner Tubonia. Inner Tubonia? What's that? That's the land of the inner tubers. Inner tubers? We aren't inner tubes. What are we doing here? It's simple, my boy. Didn't you ever wonder where balloons go when they escape from Earth? What goes up comes down. Right. They gotta come down someplace, and this is the place. Inner Tubonia. Gosh, wonder why they picked this place. Follow me and I'll show you. But first, pick up those balloons and bring them with you. Hold it. Something's scaring the balloons. What is it, Tony? There's only one thing in this whole world that scares balloons, and that's a pine cupor. What's a pine cupor? It's the mortal enemy of all inflated things. He's like a walking cactus that goes around popping anything that's full of hot air. Even I'm afraid of pine cupors. Let's get out of here. Here. They're all 
Why, it's good to see you. Oh, Tony the Pony, what a pleasant surprise. Hiya, Mayor. Well, what brings you to Inner Tavonia? Well, my friend Ralphie here kind of got wrapped up in this bunch of balloons, you see. And naturally, they found their way here. And, well, Johnny and I sort of tagged along. <laughs> Ralph, Johnny, say hello to Mayor Patchum. He's like the head wrangler here. And if you've ever had your head wrangled, <laughs> that can hurt. Well, welcome to Inner Timonia. Uh, may I show you around our fair province? Thanks, Mayor. Always did want to see how inner tubers live. Well, you see, inner tubers are a lot like Earth folks. Why, they even have some of the same problems that you do, uh, like uh, inflation. Only your problem is you never seem to get enough, right, Mayor? <laughs> yeah, right you are, my friend. Uh, speaking of inflation, take a look at this. This is our famous Armakinney. Armakinney? I never saw that before. What's an Armakinney? What's it for, Mr. Mayor? Well, we use our Armakinney to... Uh... Run for your life! Run for your life! The pie keeps are coming! Oh, no! The scramble! Run away! Run! Run! Run away! Scramble! Pie keeps are Tony, you better get the boys out of here. I'll cover your retreat. Sorry, Mayor. We're staying. Pine for? Is that what you call a pine for? Yes, that's a big one. Let's get out of here while there's still a chance. Heck, Mayor, that's nothing but a baby porcupine. Well, all I know is when they shoot those poison darts, they ploy its curtains. Now let's run for it. Mayor, they don't shoot their quills. That's just another one of those myths. You mean a misunderstanding? <laughs> oh, how can you laugh at a time like this? Sorry, Mayor, a little private joke. I'll show you how to handle a pinky pour. Let me borrow that cushion over there. Borrow. Here he goes again. He really did borrow it. Now does he look so dangerous? Nice work, kid. Mr. Ralphie, you are Inner Tripolia's new national hero. But uh, how can we ever reward you? Uh, is it all right if I go home now? I'll bet my mom's looking all over for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Why, I guess it's all right. In fact, we are going to provide you with a royal escort. Right, Inner Tubers? Something wrong? What are you hiding behind your back? Nothing. Did you borrow something back there? Heck no. Come on, hurry up. Here's under Tyrrhenia. Let's blast off. I gotta get home. Not so fast, kid. First, I gotta see what you're holding behind you. It's nothing, really. Just a little something to remember where we went. All right, Ralph. Let's see. It's the armor kitty. You shouldn't have done it, kid. I only wanted a souvenir. Otherwise, who'd believe I was really ever up here? Yeah, but how do you know this gadget ain't valuable to them? 
Air machine? Air machine means air machine. Those balloons need air in the inner tubers. Or they'll all collapse and die without their air machine. Come on, we gotta get back there. Fast! Run, boys, I'm right behind you! That air machine, quick, Ralph! You try mouth-to-mouth -mouth reinflation. Oh, I hope we're not too late. Patchum, what happened was all my fault. I'm the one who took your arm, McKinney. And you're also the one who brought it back, my boy. All he wanted was a souvenir. He didn't know the arm, McKinney, was the air machine. Shucks, I didn't even know that. Well, I guess it was just one of those misunderstandings, huh? Seems like we heard that word before somewhere. Now the kids got us covering up for it. So, you wanted a souvenir, did you, Ralphie? We'll see what we can do about that. Master Ralphie, for your heroic conquest of the Pine Cube Wars, for your honesty and courage, we are pleased to present you with Inner Tuponia's niftiest award, the Solid Rubber Patch. And maybe someday this patch will save your skin like you saved ours. In the land of pretty balloons, all your troubles, they fly away. In the land of pretty balloons, there's nothing to do but play. The wind makes the magical sound as you go up and down. Big things look small on the ground Like a bird we fly What a wonderful ride There's a birthday party each day And a band that plays happy tunes Hold your breath, close your eyes And you'll feel yourself rise to the land A pretty balloons There's a birthday party each day And a band that plays happy tunes Hold your breath, close your eyes, and you'll feel yourself rise to the land A pretty balloon Goodbye, Tony! Goodbye, Jonathan! Bye-bye, Ralphie, our national hero! Oh, well, Tony, what do you think? Has Ralph learned anything from all this? Well, I hope so. Only time will tell, Jonathan. I was just thinking, what did Mayor Patchum mean when he said I got my medal for honesty and courage? Well, I guess he meant you were very honest to admit you'd taken something you shouldn't have. Oh, yeah. And it took a lot of courage to bring it back. Thanks. Now I feel more like I deserve my medal. Ralphie! Ralphie, where are you? Uh-oh, my mom's looking for me. You trust old Tony the Pony. I'll get you home before you can say, Inty minty dinty dinty, dum a no ma dum a nay. Aichi paichi dum a nightchi ki to. Ralphie, come.
come home this instant. Oh, hi, Mom. Sorry I disappeared like that. Where on earth have you been? On earth? Um, well... Well, never mind. Dinner's nearly ready, and I wanted to tell you I had a nice talk with Mr. Hunt. Mom. And I told him you borrowed Tommy's thingamajig by accident, and... Mom, that's not the truth. And he said... What do you mean, that's not the truth? I stole Tommy's calculator. Do you know what you're saying, Ralph? Yes, ma'am. And I sold Harry's yo-yo and Jonathan's mitt. And I'm never going to do it again, Mom. I promise. Ralph, I'm so proud of you. They fly away in the land of pretty balloons. There's nothing to do but play. The wind makes a magical sound as you go up and down. Tomorrow and on to life. Find out what's behind those one day sprees in Atlantic City. Who's taking them and why? Get eye opening facts about contact lenses. And meet the man who keeps New York looking good and defies death to do it. On to Life, Tuesday at 7.30. Land of pretty balloons. Hold your breath, close your eyes, and you'll feel yourself rise to the land of pretty 